Good morning. My name is Rick. I'm one of the Red Seal techs here at Voyager RV. We are in our PDI shop and I'm sitting beside this Jayco J Flight 184 BHS trailer. Uh, today, the purpose of this video is to teach you how to summarize a trailer. So it's done in three easy steps. Step number one, you're going to make sure you have power and water. Step number two, we're going to flush the antifreeze out of the lines. Step number three, we're going to summarize the, uh, the hot water tank. Step number one, power and water. Easy to do. First of all, we just make sure that we have a battery hooked up at the front of the trailer. There's your power. Water is going to be going into the fresh water tank. We want to use the, the fresh water tank to ensure that water gets flushed through the water pump because it, right now there's antifreeze in the water pump. So to fill the tank, you just take a hose, put it in the fill, and turn on the faucet. We don't need a lot of water. 10 gallons is lots. You don't have to fill the, fill the tank right up. And, uh, let's see. Okay. And I just turned off the valve uh, to empty the uh, tank so that the, the tank will fill now. Okay, so here we are on the inside of the trailer. This is going to be step number two. And the, uh, what this step is, is flushing the antifreeze out of the lines. So uh, the uh, way that we do that is we turn on the water pump at the monitor panel so that we can get the, the water from the tank to the, to the faucets. Okay, so that all we have to do now is one at a time, run, run the taps until they run from pink to uh, clear. The first one's gonna take a little longer because the uh, water has to travel the furthest at this point. And there we go. Now we're gonna run the cold tap. And that's that. Next, we're moving into the bathroom and we just flush the toilet until it runs clear. And now the, the bathtub. You see how much quicker it is now that the, the lines are starting to get water in them? Let's make sure that the shower is working as well. Okay, it's all good. Okay, so now we've, we've flushed all the antifreeze out of the lines inside the unit. The last thing to do is to make sure that you flush your, your uh, outside shower. This particular unit doesn't have an outside shower, so we don't have to worry about it. Now we're gonna move on to step number three, which is summarizing your water heater. Okay, here we are in step number three. I've removed the, uh, uh, step number three is summarizing the hot water tank. So I've removed the access covers and I'm actually sitting right on top of the tank here. First thing we, uh, uh, I wanna talk about is this valve right here. So right now, it, uh, it's set into the winterized position so it has sucked antifreeze out of this tube. However, we want it to be in the summer position so that it takes water from the fresh water tank and pumps it out to the rest of the system. Okay, same thing goes with the, these valves here. This valve and this valve are, uh, are, are directing the water flow for the hot water tank and the bypass line. The purpose of the bypass line is to keep antifreeze out of your hot water tank when you are uh, uh, winterizing. So now that we want to summarize, we're going to turn these valves into their proper direction so that the water will flow into the bottom of the tank, get heated up and come out as hot water in the top and go out to the rest of the system. That's all we have to do back here. Okay, here we are completing step three, summarizing a hot water tank. We're on the outside of the unit. One little hint, uh, the way that you find where, you, the, where the valves are on the inside of the trailer is you look for the door on the outside and, and you'll see it's in the back corner and that's where I just was to, to turn the valves. Okay, so this particular hot water tank is a, uh, a piloted um, Atwood, so Atwood tanks have these little plugs. Just got to put it into the hole here. There we go. And tighten it up. This is a 15 16 socket. The other type of 
uh, water heater is a Suburban and it, it's the one that has an anode rod. That's an inch and a 1 16th and the uh, anode rod would be in this general position on, on a Suburban. Okay, now that the plug is in, it'll accept water. I just have to turn the uh, water pump back on and it will fill with water and then we're done. Okay, so now we've completed summarizing your trailer in three easy steps. First one is power and water. Second one is uh, flushing your lines of antifreeze. Third one is summarizing your hot water heater. If this is the first time that you've ever had to summarize and you have any questions, you can uh, leave a comment below the video uh, and we'll respond. You could always uh, book us, uh, an appointment with our service department and we'll be happy to do it for you. Once you're summarized, all you have to do is pack up, load up, load up the kids, hook up and go camping. That's the whole purpose of these things, to make some good memories. So until the next time, happy camping.